So Disney have just announced a new canon Star Wars TV series called the Star Wars Jedi Temple Challenge. Although it is a game show in real life, the events of the show are considered canon in the Star Wars universe and more importantly, the characters are also considered canon. I'm going to break down the newest Jedi Master revealed by Disney and his unique new lightsaber form never before seen in Star Wars. So before we get into it, remember to subscribe to the channel for more awesome Star Wars lore content. With the Star Wars Jedi Temple trailer releasing on the official Star Wars YouTube channel, we were introduced to a variety of new canon characters and locations. The series will take place in the galaxy far far away and will put contestants through a series of obstacles and challenges to determine who is worthy to be promoted to the rank of Jedi Knight. Let's just hope this show doesn't take place too close to Revenge of the Sith, because everyone taking part in the show is a canon Jedi youngling. The show in universe will be hosted by Jedi Master Kelleran Beck, who is played by Jar Jar Binks actor Ahmed Best. Funnily enough, he has also played a man sitting inside of the bar in Attack of the Clones when Anakin and Obi-Wan entered, where he had a very similar name to his new Jedi name, which was Ahmed Beck. No canon source has confirmed this yet, but Ahmed Best has stated that these two characters are actually related. I absolutely love to see Ahmed Best being reintroduced into Star Wars canon as a different character, because he's just such a great guy. Kelleran Beck will be accompanied by his female protocol droid, AD3. AD3 is said to have a great sense of humour with a mix of R2-D2 and C-3PO. While Master Keller and Beck and his droid were on good terms, AD3 is extremely jealous of his force powers and his rank of Jedi Master. Now here's where things get incredibly interesting. Keller and Beck may actually be pretty close to a grey Jedi. We know that he values the balance of the force more than anything, and that balance is his primary goal as a Jedi Master. He believes that a balance between peace and justice is paramount in the harmony and well-being of the galaxy. Now very excited Excitingly, Master Keller and Beck has a purple lightsaber similar to that of Mace Windu. This is incredibly exciting as this is now the second ever purple lightsaber in canon. Let me know down in the comments below which lightsaber colour you would choose if you were invited onto this game show. Now this makes a lot of sense as Mace Windu uses a purple lightsaber because he is not afraid to use both the light side of the force and the dark side of the force in combination. The difference between Mace Windu and a Sith Lord though, is that he will never let the dark side consume him, being careful to walk a tight line between the two sides of the force. This will almost certainly be the same for Keller and Beck. He values balance so highly that he is not afraid to use both the light side and the dark side of the force in combination, but will never let himself fall to the dark. We know that the colour of a Jedi's kyber crystal comes from his traits and personality, confirming that Keller and Beck will hold similar beliefs as Mace Windu. I don't think he will have the same arrogance as Mace Windu, but he will definitely show some dark side features just like Mace Windu did. Maybe we'll even get to see Master Keller and Beck acquire his new purple kyber crystal from Ilum in the first episode of the game show as a sort of introduction. The hilt of the lightsaber is just large enough for one hand and contains a combination of durasteel and an unknown yellow material, possibly gold. Let me know down in the comments below what you think this is. The lightsaber hilt also has a wrap around its bottom similar to the one on Anakin's lightsaber after it was repaired by Rey in The Rise of Skywalker. I don't think this lightsaber was damaged in the same way as Anakin's, but it is certainly possible. Now very interestingly, Keller and Beck will use a new lightsaber form never before seen in Star Wars canon or legends. This new lightsaber form will take inspiration from a Filipino martial art called Eskrima. It is a one-handed fighting style which focuses on offensive tactics. This form also focuses on one-handed fighting because amazingly it heavily incorporates the empty hand for the use of offensive force powers in combat. This new lightsaber form is incredible, utilising one hand for the lightsaber and the other to utilise the force against your opponent. I'm so excited to see this. On top of this, Master Beck is known by other Jedi as the Bladed Hand because of his effectiveness with this new one-handed lightsaber form. Although he is being introduced through a canon game show, I really don't think this will be the only place we see Jedi Master Keller and Beck appear. I think we'll definitely see him make appearances in other prequel era content, or maybe he's even a survivor of the great Jedi Purge. It's possible that we will see him appear in the Jedi Fallen Order sequel which will be releasing in the near future. Maybe we even see him in the Rebels sequel assuming he has survived that long. 
But for this to work with the original trilogy, he'd have to be somewhere in the unknown regions or away from the main galaxy, just like Ezra. Either way, let me know down in the comments below what role you think Keller and Beck will play in future Star Wars content. Thanks so much for watching, remember to subscribe to the channel for more awesome Star Wars theory and lore content. Cheers guys, hope to see you in the next one.